Hi, I'm here back to do a second shot video. Um, I got a message coming from Byron Searle, and I have another message coming from um, uh, Miss Sophie's site uh, that I want to share with you. And so I'm going to go and read Byron's message first, and I'm going to get over to the second message. Um, these may be some of the things you've been looking for. This is the sign you've been looking for. Maybe, maybe, people. We got a lot going on, so we need to just be paying attention, paying attention. So uh, here it is. He's saying, I'm not allowing it. I'm not allowing it. April 14th, 2019, Job chapters 39 and 40, particularly Job 40, 6 to 9. Um, then answered the Lord unto Job out of the whirlwind and said, Gird up, your, gird up thy loins now like a man. I would demand of thee and declare thou unto me. Will thou also disanal my judgment? Will thou condemn me that thou mayest be righteous? Hast thou an arm like God? Or canst thou thunder with a voice like him? Okay, and I'm going to go on down here and read the transcript. And the transcript is, My son, why do my children not believe my word? They only want to take the verses that promise health, wealth, and happiness and use them, totally discounting and negating the other side of my nature and character. My children do not like to read Job because of what happened to him. I allowed all that to happen to Job. I allowed Satan to do anything but take his life. I ask you, my children, how many of you could have lost everything you own, lost all of your children, have your body covered with balls from the top of your head to the soles of your feet, and not curse me? I allowed it. I created Satan to do my will, and I keep him on short leash. My son, I am allowing it to all happen. And it has been my will planned from the foundation of time. I have allowed all the death and destruction of the multitudes of wars, past and present. I am allowing Satan to bring trials and tests into your life. What? You think Satan does you think Satan does these things on his own? Why do you think every generation has a son of perdition standing in wings? Only I know the final playbook. Satan has no idea when I will start the final chapter of seven years. My son, my children are so quick to blame Satan for everything instead of be believing I am allowing it. I always tell my prophets beforehand what I am doing, yet because my children are so blind, they do not believe my true prophets, instead believing that I would not say that or do that. I tell you now, I am allowing it. You say that three days of darkness is a lie? Why would I lie, allow a lie to divide my body? Oh, you say it's the devil. Again, I say he's my devil. Why should? Why would I divide my body? Could you be wrong because you do not want to believe I could do that? I have done it before. What about earthquakes that will split the land and shake the whole earth? You believe in those words that I sent to my prophets, yet they have not happened. Yet they have not happened. I am allowing all these judgments to fall on man. Economic collapse, mega earthquakes, mega tsunamis, famine, uncontrolled diseases, incurable diseases, meteor strikes, nuclear war, asteroid strikes, animal die off, massive flooding, massive hurricanes, massive tornadoes, murder, war. Why? One reason only, to bring sinful man to a place of repentance and bring all men into the knowledge of my son, Jesus, Yeshua, Messiah, of course, I allowed him to die for you. I have a plan and no amount of prayer will stop what has been planned from the beginning. No matter what king I put in office, he is there to do my will and finish in all that has been written. I am allowing all you see now place, taking place in the world. And if you have eyes to see and ears to hear, you will know it is I, not the devil, allowing it. Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, people. My son, many people will say this word is too hard. My God is not cruel and mean. He is loving and kind. Tell them I am both loving and just. I love them so much I allowed my son to die. But I am, but I also am the one that allowed my angel to kill 183,000 men in one night. 
I also allowed the Babylonians and Romans to destroy the temple in Jerusalem. Why? Because my children worship the temple building more than me. Thus saith the Holy One of Israel, I will allow the judgments to fall. I will allow the son of perdition to rule and cause war and overcome the saints. All must be as it is written. I have spoken, says the Lord God Almighty. I am sending Jesus to gather those whom I have sealed to work the harvest soon. Shalom, the Father. So people, there it is from By Byron Searle. And I have another message also coming here from the prophetic word, flee the cities, least you share in their plagues, coming from God Healer 7, um, Miss Sophie's website, uh, flee the cities, least you share in her plagues. And I'm just not going to play the video, but I'm going to read the transcript. Okay. And so uh, it's so important that we get these messengers tonight. I'm just going to look at these pictures a few minutes while I go here. You see these cities, the major cities, all before us, major cities. Come out of the cities, come out of the cities. I know uh, Ellen G. White used to always say, come out of the cities, come out of the cities. Uh, we know that we're going to have terror in the cities, horrible things happening in the cities. And she also written, I was trying to find my uh, reference for that, but I would try to look it up and post it down in the description box if I can find it from Ellen G. White, where she talked about come out of the cities, come out of the cities. And also, you see the man on the picture here. He's trying to run. He's trying to run. He's trying to run. And it's in the dark. He's running in the dark. And this is what it's going to be like when chaos hit the cities, the major cities. We're trying to run out. We're trying to get out. We're trying to drive out. And it's going to be nothing but chaos trying to get out, people. That's why I've been telling you on my channel for many years to get out of the large cities. Go more to the smaller cities or closer to the mountain uh, parts. Uh, get out of these large cities. You'll be trapped in these large cities when all this chaos come down on us. So let's go here and read what um read what she says here from um the lady here. I listened to her channel quite a bit. God Heal 7 and the transcript is come out of her my children. Babylon will be destroyed. Leave her cities. I will destroy the cities one by one with my power and might. She has become a dwelling place of demons. Her religions are the doctrines of the devil. The demons have corrupted everything. Flee the cities. I am sending plagues and pestilence now and floodings and fire. Prepare now and leave, lest you share in her plagues. Hallelujah. That's what's coming, people. And she says here, I believe God has already begun to do these things. Seeing thunder and lightning strikes that are bizarre. Measles spreading in New York. Floodings in the Midwest. And livestock being drowned in the mass numbers. Fires on the East Coast, blizzards in upper Midwest when it should be planting season, earthquakes, strange phenomena in the skies. I've seen some very, very odd things and also hearing things I've never heard before. Now tornado season is here where I live and hurricane season down south is coming. My house has been shaken somewhat from small trembles. But I am not in a big city, just a small town of less than 35,000. I know God put me here in this house because when I tried to move down south, the door was closed and this house was practically handed over to me for almost nothing. Other signs too. So uh, I'm just going to leave that with you people. It's really time. It's really time. It's really time. I must agree with her. It's time to move out of these large cities. Okay. Large cities. And as the sign says here, uh, this could be the sign you look, this could be the sign you have been looking for. I hope that you got your sign tonight that it's time to move out of the large cities. It's time to really pay attention to Yahweh's prophets. It's time to pay attention to his word. It's time to hear his voice. It's time not to hearken, it's time not to harden your heart. If you hear his voice, harden not your hearts, people. It is time, it is time, it is time. So uh, I'm going to put these links in the description box and I'm going to let you guys go. I just wanted to come and get this quick video out and you guys have a blessed, blessed Sunday night. I'll be back with another video as soon as I can. I'm just going to say shalom, shalom. I love you guys so much. Shalom, shalom. Get out of those cities. Shalom, shalom. I'll see you guys on another video. Shalom.